finding all the factors of a number, next step. When we first learn to find the factors of a number, we might use an arc to show factor pairs. We always start off with one and the number itself, using a space in between, and then we move up from there till we catch all the factors in between. And that's great when it's a value that doesn't have many factors, like we see here. But when you get a bigger number that has a lot of different factors, a lot of different ways of multiplying up to our given number, then the arc method becomes clumsy on the page and may be confusing with a lot of arcs drawn. There's another way that's neater and just as easy to follow, and it's a better choice for a bigger number that's likely to give you a lot of factors. I'll show you how easy it is. Here's all the different ways we can multiply up to 100 using whole numbers. Start with 1 times 100. On the next line, I put the next factor pair, 2 times 50. Is 3 a factor? Well, we can use a calculator to check very quickly if you don't know. 100 divided by 3. We get a decimal in the answer. That's a remainder. It doesn't divide evenly, so 3 is not a factor. 4 is a factor of 100. 4 times 25 is 100. Always use a new line for every factor pair. 5 times 20, and of course, 10 tens are 100. Next, we have to list the factors of 100 to finish the problem. All this is our working out our proof. It is not our final answer, so don't leave it like this. As you know, we always list our factors in ascending order. So, we simply read down the first values here and list them all off. And then we read up the second values and list them off. And there they are in ascending order. I told you it was easy. Remember, you can find the factors of a number using multiplication or division. Your choice. If you use a calculator, it will speed your thinking process.